In this video, we'll go over Vieta's formulas, a tool that lets you find symmetric expressions of polynomial roots very quickly. They make quick work of problems like this. Given that R, S, and T are the three distinct roots of 2x cubed plus x squared minus 8x plus 3, find R squared plus S squared plus T squared. Looks scary? Well, just a couple of calculations later, and we're done! This video is split into two parts. First, definitions, proofs, and tips for using Vieta's formulas, as well as one useful trick. And second, three more difficult example problems. 1. Definitions and Tips Given a polynomial, for example, ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, Vieta's formulas let us find information about its roots, like their sum, product, and even sum of pairwise products, ridiculously easily. To see how this works, we go straight into the proof. We'll show the case for a degree 3 polynomial, but it generalizes to higher degrees as well. Suppose we have a generic polynomial x cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. By the fundamental theorem of algebra, we know that it must have three roots, r, s, and t, and therefore must equal k times x minus r times x minus s times x minus t, with k as some constant. These two different forms represent the same polynomial, so they're equal. So then setting them equal to one another and expanding will yield this equation. Since the two sides are equal, the coefficients of x cubed must match, which yields that k equals a. Substituting this in, we can then divide a out from both sides to get the following equation. Now, just compare the coefficients of the different terms, and voila, we're done! For example, looking at the x squared term coefficients on each side, we get that negative r plus s plus t is equal to b over a, so r plus s plus t equals negative b over a. The rest follow similarly. If you ever forget what expressions Vietas can give you, just expand the expression x minus r times x minus s times x minus t dot 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 with however many roots you need. The coefficients of the results are the expressions Vietas can give values to. And now, a couple of warnings. Watch out for any front coefficients. Forgetting to divide by them is a very annoying mistake to make. Also, watch out for the alternating signs. When expanding a factored form like x minus r times x minus s times x minus t, the resulting coefficients will alternate in sign due to all the minuses. And next, an important problem, double roots. A root of a polynomial is called a double root if it appears twice in its factorization. Similarly, you can have triple roots, quadruple roots, and so on. For example, the polynomial x cubed minus 6x squared plus 9x equals x times x minus 3 squared has 3 as a double root and 0 as a regular one. Because the factor x minus 3 appears twice in the factorization, Vieta's will count 3 twice for the sums, products, and other expressions. So although the sum of the roots is just 0 plus 3 equals 3, the double root will cause Vieta's to think it is 0 plus 3 plus 3 equals 6. Typically, though, you won't have to worry about it, as the problem will state that all the roots are distinct. So that's all for the very basics of Vieta's formulas, but often time applying it directly is not enough. For example, in the first problem, given r, s, and t are the three distinct roots of 2x cubed plus x squared minus 8x plus 3, find r squared plus s squared plus t squared, Using Vieta's, we only know the values of the expressions r plus s plus t, rs plus st plus tr, and rst. So, we need to somehow combine these expressions together in order to create r squared plus s squared plus t squared. In this situation, we can create it as r plus s plus t squared minus 2 times rs plus st plus tr. Using Vieta's formulas, we get that r plus s plus t equals negative 1 over 2, equals negative 1 half, and rs plus st plus tr equals negative 8 over 2, which equals negative 4. So then our final answer is negative 1 half squared minus 2 times negative 4, which is 8.25. For any symmetric expression involving roots, there's always a way to use Vieta's expressions to create it. This next trick isn't part of Vieta's formulas, but can often be used in similar situations to simplify calculations or even completely destroy the problem. The main idea is that 
If i is a root of a polynomial p of x, then we can use the fact that p of i equals 0 to simplify high degree expressions. As an example, suppose we're given the polynomial x cubed plus 2x minus 4, with distinct roots r, s, and t, and wanted r cubed plus s cubed plus t cubed. Since r is a root of x cubed plus 2x minus 4, this means r cubed plus 2r minus 4 equals 0, so then r cubed equals negative 2r plus 4. We can then do the same with s and t, so then r cubed plus s cubed plus t cubed becomes negative 2r plus 4 plus negative 2s plus 4 plus negative 2t plus 4, which is equal to negative 2 times r plus s plus t plus 12. Using Vieta's on x cubed plus 2x minus 4 yields r plus s plus t to be 0, so then our final answer is just 12. This is much easier than trying to construct r cubed plus s cubed plus t cubed from scratch. 2. Three example problems. Often, the hard part isn't using Vieta's, but instead creating the desired expression using the expressions Vieta's gives us. First up, let r, s, and t be the distinct roots of the polynomial x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 4. Find r squared s plus s squared r plus s squared t plus t squared s plus t squared r plus r squared t. This whole problem is finding how to make r squared s plus s squared r plus s squared t plus t squared s plus t squared r plus r squared t from r plus s plus t, r s plus st plus t r, and r s t. There are not too many ways to combine these expressions to create a degree 3 term. r plus s plus t cubed and r plus s plus t times r s plus st plus t r are the only interesting ones. But r plus s plus t cubed would create problematic r cubed terms. So instead, we expand r plus s plus t times r s plus st plus t r to see how close we get. Expanding yields r squared s plus s squared r plus s squared t t plus t squared s plus t squared r plus r squared t plus 3r s t, which is really close. All we have to do is subtract 3r s t and we're done. So r squared s plus s squared r plus s squared t plus t squared s plus t squared r plus r squared t is equal to r plus s plus t times r s plus s t plus t r minus 3r s t. Using Vieta's, r plus s plus t equals 2, r s plus s t plus t r equals 3, and rst equals 4. So our final result is 2 times 3 minus 3 times 4 equals negative 6. This next problem is a prime example of when to use the power reduction trick I showed earlier. Let s sub k denote the sum of the kth powers of the roots of the polynomial x cubed minus 5x squared plus 8x minus 13. In particular, s sub 0 equals 3, s sub 1 equals 5, and s sub 2 equals 9. Let a, b, and c be real numbers such s sub k plus 1 equals a times s sub k plus b times s sub k minus 1 plus c times s sub k minus 2 for k 2 comma 3 comma dot dot dot. What is a plus b plus c? Let the roots of x cubed minus 5x squared plus 8x minus 13 be p, q, and r. Using our trick, since p is a root of x cubed minus 5x squared plus 8x minus 13, we get that p cubed minus 5p squared plus 8p minus 13 equals 0, which rearranges to p cubed equals 5p squared minus 8p plus 13. Looking at the powers, this looks kind of like the equation we want. To make it even closer, we multiply by p to the k minus 2 on both sides to force the left into p to the k plus 1, and the right into 5 times p to the k minus 8 times p to the k minus 1, plus 13 times p to the k minus 2. This is true for q and r as well, so summing these results together yields s sub k plus 1 equals 5 s sub k minus 8 s sub k minus 1 plus 13 s sub k minus 2, which is the relation they wanted us to find. This means that a equals 5, b equals negative 8, and c equals 13, so a plus b plus c equals 5 minus a plus 13 equals 10, and thus our final answer is d. This problem is from the AMC 2019 10a number 24. Let p, q, and r be the distinct roots of the polynomial x cubed minus 22x squared plus 80x minus 67. 
It is given that there exist real numbers a, b, and c, such that 1 over s cubed minus 22s squared plus 80s minus 67 equals a over s minus p plus b over s minus q plus c over s minus r, for all s that is not p, q, or r. What is 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c? If you're familiar with fraction decomposition, we follow those steps to find 1 over a, 1 over b, and 1 over c. If you're not, well, just follow along. First, we multiply by s minus p times s minus q times s minus r on both sides. The left side cancels to be 1, and the right side is a times s minus q times s minus r plus b times s minus p times s minus r plus c times s minus p times s minus q. Now, we do something a bit cheesy. The problem states that s cannot be p, q, or r. But if we plug them in anyways, we'll get out the right values for a, b, and c. Why this is, we won't go into detail. We're here to focus on Vietas, after all. Anyways, if we plug in s equals p, stuff cancels, and we get that 1 equals a times p minus q times p minus r, or that 1 over a equals p minus q times p minus r. Similarly, we get that 1 over b equals q minus p times q minus r, and 1 over c equals r minus p times r minus q. Summing these together, we get that 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c is p minus q times p minus r plus q minus p times q minus r plus r minus p times r minus q, which expands and simplifies to p squared plus q squared plus r squared minus pq minus qr minus rp. Now converting this into Vieta expressions, this equals p plus q plus r squared minus 3 times pq plus qr plus rp. Using Vietas yields p plus q plus r equals 22 and pq plus qr plus rp equals 80. So substituting this in, we get 22 squared minus 3 times 80 equals 484 minus 240, which is 244. Thus, 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c is 244, and so b is the final answer. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video and want to support the channel, drop a like and subscribe. You can check out my other videos here as well.